Alright, that's who this world ignorantly and incorrectly calls God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, whom we learn this truth from. This 100% truth. You know, shout out to the head of the men of Israel camp, the Ak Kazak, whom we teach under here in Greenville, South Carolina. And finally, a quick shout out to you, Achyam and Akwath, which is Hebrew for you, brethren and sisters, who are diligently and sincerely working out your faith in these last days with fear and trembling towards your salvation. To y'all, we like to say Shalom. shalom. That's Hebrew for peace. This is the Ach Alaya. This is the Ach Yeshima. And we're here uh, with a, a quick, really, uh, I'll, I'll let the brother go into it. Yeah, man. So, you know, uh, I was at the plantation and whatnot, and, um, you know, it was a jake that I was telling the brother about and whatnot, uh, that the dude, you know, he is, he is right now, you know, because we were having a little conversation. He told me, you know, well, I kind of figured that he was an Israelite. So, you know, I asked him, you know, do you know you're Israelite? He was like, yeah, you know, I, I know I'm Israelite. So, I didn't really get to talk to him as much. But this particular day, you know, me and the brother was leaving work. We had talked to him because he had a bud out book. He, he said he had the apocrypha, but he had some other books that was in that apocrypha, and the apocrypha was bugged the fuck out. He had some books called the uh, Ethiopian Prayer. Uh, uh, what was some other ones? I know it was Ethiopian Prayer that yeah. was one of the books it said in there. something about from Ethiopia. Yeah. And then it, it was, uh, it said something about a uh, book of Enoch. And, yeah, the book yeah, of Enoch, yeah. um, all type of madness. So we told him the book wasn't, you know, it wasn't, uh, you know, a, 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 a real book, you know, or whatnot. So I guess, you know, he got confounded or whatnot. He got mad. You know, he, he kept trying to, you know, you know, pull off or whatnot. You know, we weren't trying to uh, 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 hold him hostage, you know. Uh, but you could tell he was getting kind of frustrated or mad or whatnot. So, you know, he ended up leaving or whatnot. So the next day, we come back to work. Or oh, whatnot, damn shit, about to distract me or whatnot. Yeah, I know, that's why <laughs> Yeah, going on. But uh, he came back, we came back to work the next, uh, next day because that was the weekend, uh, that was Friday when we talked to him, so we came back. Well, really, Monday we came, well, Sunday night we came back. But uh, Monday night, you know, we came back to back to work again or whatnot. So he came, so we, we kind of worked next to each other a little bit. So he came up to me, he was like, man, you know, uh, I was still thinking about what y'all was saying over the weekend or whatnot. And then he said some other stuff, but I couldn't really hear him because his mask was on. His mask was on, so you know. And then he said something else. He was like, um, he was like, uh, 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 you making a mockery of yourself by going out to the highways and byways. So the shit pissed me off right then and there. So you know, I kind of turned up in the spirit of whatnot, cutting his ass. So then he left and came back. He said, "Yeah, man, you know, I'm sorry, man. You know, I ain't meant it that way. You know what I'm saying?" So I'm like, my mind, I ain't saying nothing. I was just like, yeah, all right. And in my mind, I'm like, this nigga double minded, man. You know, there but you know, uh, right. what pissed me off, like I said, he said I'm making a, we making a market of ourselves, and then he gonna ask me what we teach at. So I told him we teach, you know, downtown Greenville. He was like, that's when he said you making a market of yourself. So that would really set me off and got me pissed off. You know what I'm saying? So we are gonna get some scriptures proving that you know we supposed to be out there in the highways and byways. You know, mm -hmm. and, and we are not making a market of ourselves, even though we look like the brother. So even though you know we look like we not um uh how you say that uh. Damn, how you said it? Wait, he was like, how he said it? No, how you said it, he was like, technically we not making we not making oh, a market yeah, of ourselves, yeah, but by as, but how people look at us, it is like we not uh, not man of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the Lord said, service gonna be out there in the highways and byways. We gonna prove that you know uh, uh, that the true prophet is gonna be out to the highways and byways, not just be on no fucking internet on YouTube. Yeah, you know, yeah. even though YouTube did the heavy lifting. But you still got to go out there and give that warning as well, uh, man. You can't be sitting in no yeah. closet on your phone. What else was I about to say on the script. video this morning? On the last, uh, before we came in today? He said something. Oh, shit. Uh, you, oh, no. Fuck, it man. wasn't Adam when I said, yeah, I don't know what's going on right there. It's not like it was two cars at yeah, one point. Yeah, at one time. But no, that was the... Uh, the other elders that said uh, Hebrew home alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You <laughs> niggas being Hebrew uh, home aloneers, man. <laughs> Wanna just think y'all can just do a work at the house or on the internet, man? Yeah, no, you gotta yeah. get your ass out there and the highways and byways. What the Lord said, um, uh, uh, be instant in season and out of season, man. Yeah. Meaning you gotta be out there, no matter if it's raining, hot, cold. You still yeah. gotta go out there, and, man. And his excuse, uh, uh. For why he don't have to go out to the highways and byways because he said everywhere he go he is a witness. Oh, Even yeah, while he's yeah. at work, he's talking to his his neighbors and his his coworkers. That that ain't the the, the service. That ain't what the Lord commanded us to do. Exactly. He didn't say just you know everywhere you go. Even though we are a light everywhere we go, that's just because of how we carry ourselves 
you know, in regards to the spirit, you know, we walk in the spirit. So that's going to show for uh, amongst the darkness that we're surrounded by, the people going to look at us and see that something is different. But that's not the ministry. Exactly. The ministry is, is, is Matthew 22 and 9, you know, and so on. As the brother about to read. Okay. It says Matthew 22 and 9. It says, go ye therefore into the highway. Somebody need to turn that shit off. Yeah, ain't no way it's still going. Yeah, dude. He done came outside looking. <laughs> like, come on, man. That shit is ridiculous. Somebody is probably trying to break in. Ain't no way that's their car. Ain't no way it was their car. But anyway, it says Matthew 22 and verse 9. It says, go ye therefore into the highway. And this red letter as well. Mm -hmm. Meaning, yeah, I was shot speaking. It yeah. says, go ye therefore into the highways. And as many as ye shall find. Bid to the marriage, man. Mm -hmm. All right, you got to bid them towards your house by shop for salvation, man. Mm -hmm. You can't just excuse me. You can't just be sitting on your ass thinking you just gonna uh, uh, reach the people through the internet, which you are in a sense. But you're gonna do really the heavy lifting is on uh, well the heavy lifting is on the internet. But you're gonna do even more on the highways and byways. You attracting more people on the highways and byways mm -hmm. because you got thousands of people that walk past. You might only have yeah, you might do videos, but you might only have three views. Oh, Lord, yeah, exactly, God damn. <laughs> Shit, need to burn it in. <laughs> Shit, but uh, <laughs> but uh, like I said, you gonna have even more thousands of people uh, uh walking to the highways and byways than you would on your videos because certain brothers might only get what five views, ten yeah. views, or no views, uh, no views. Yeah. So you can't just sit there and, and just think you gonna wake up the nation or the elect, you know, on the internet, man. You gonna really wake them up on the highways and byways, man, or you gonna. You know, at least give out the warning even more on the highways and byways, man. Yeah. You know, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get a precept too in a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and allude to it. We know the word of the Lord. What? The, all these demons, man. Exactly. We we know the word of the Lord as for us to make our bodies a living, living sacrifice. sacrifice. You can't make your body a living sacrifice sitting on your couch, man. You know, exactly. sitting hiding behind a icon, random icon in a keyboard, man. That's not make yourself a living sacrifice. You got to get out there and, like the brother said, be exposed to the elements. And literally be out there in front of the people. The scriptures say, "Thine eyes shall see thy teachers. teachers." You know, so that that how they gonna see you and you in your house, man. right? You know, but on your couch, just sitting down talking. <laughs> you, you ain't even really doing no two words, man. You not like the brother. So you not making your body a living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. uh, all the prophets, all the disciples, Yahweh Shah woke up. Guess what they did? They was out there teaching, and if they didn't listen, guess what they did? Matter of fact, we can get it real quick. Okay. You know, when the uh, Lord sent the uh, disciples out to teach mm. and they didn't receive them. And actually, real quick while we're here, I got okay. the, the, the uh, blue letter. Yeah, the blue letter for that word, highways. I'm going to play it real quick. Strong's G, 1327. The Exodus. The Exodus. The Exodus. And, and what's beautiful is I see even in the pronunciation, they got it spelled, and even in the transliteration, the word Exodus is in there, which oh, means to go, to go no. out. <laughs> You're right, not stay in. But it says... Uh, the outline of biblical usage, it says, uh, for a literally the ways through which ways go out, the places before the city, right, which is the point where the roads from the country terminate, therefore outlets of the country, highways, also entrances into the city. So basically the main gates is, is where the Lord told us to go. Why? Because that's where the people are going to be entering and exiting the city. That's where you're going to encounter them. You don't got to fall into their house, beat on their door. No, you're going to see them when they enter to the city and when they leave. Niggas think they could be Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go not going to have you heard about your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. Come on, man. James. <laughs> no, because uh, I say that too because was it ISUBK? Or, uh, oh, um, no, no, no. It was uh, One Body. One Body. Know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they're not body, One yeah. Body. Yeah, I was yeah, it was yeah, One Body. They was going that shit, door man. to door. And that's not the ministry either. Right, man. That's not what the Lord Yahweh Shah commanded us to do. When you get the word, it means to go to the gates of the cities, you know. And, and what, even I'll speak for our camp, you know, what we and, and uh, like minded men out there do, we go to, to the main places where we know the chief of concourse, you know, where people are going uh, to and fro in the earth. Like, we go downtown. Uh, of our city, that's where a lot of people who enter into the city and they're not aware of what's what uh what the city has going on, they'll go downtown and figure out, okay, so this is what the city's about. These are the things that people like and this is what they for. We know that we're gonna encounter most people there, so that's where we go. Exactly. You know? That's the third time I've seen that red bird come out right there. But that red bird is still over yeah, here, bro. Definitely. Yeah, I, I seen look it up. What it means, it means the protection. When I oh, look it up, yeah, it means protection. Is it a red. robin? A red robin? Red bird, I just call it red, red bird. bird. Yeah. <laughs> red bird. <laughs> yeah, I always call it just red bird. But um, damn, what the fuck? Oh, you was about to get that? Oh, damn! It definitely just slipped my mind. I was about to tell you. Yeah, I know the preset I was gonna get, but I was about to say something. Oh, yeah. 
If it come back, just come back. But uh, like I was saying, um, you know, uh, fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Even if we do go out to the high wizard Bible, and they don't, and the scriptures tell you, it, I mean, they uh, truly Jake don't listen to us when we go out to the high wizard Bible. But what the Lord said, even though they don't receive you, what He said in Matthew ten, it's in Matthew, go to Matthew 10. ten. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just go ahead. Go ahead. Cause I guess He's saying we're making a market of ourselves because they don't listen to us. I guess I don't know. But even if they don't listen to us, this is what the Lord said anyway. And then the Lord said, even if they don't listen, prophesy to the wind as well. Uh, Matthew 10 and verse 14 says, And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or this city, it says, shake out the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it should be more tolerant for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. You see that? The Lord said they don't receive you. When you do go out there in the highways about what shit the dust up your feet, meaning, mm -hmm. you know, fuck them and pretty much, you know, don't even go back to them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, different brothers, you know, of course, we might st stay in the same spot still, even though they don't receive us. But at we the same time, deal with them, yeah, we just don't deal with them. You know, mm -hmm. especially they scoffing. We don't even, you know, deal with it. We tell them just get the fuck out of our face because yeah. we already know what you coming here to do, man. We yeah. know you coming here to, to, you know, scoff. Just like the niggas uh, scoffing at the elders apostles, you know, uh, politing them. Man, we knew polite we ain't gonna get the word. But he just wanted to come out there just to scoff yep. and try to make the others look bad. Yep. And, and look, then, yeah, I'm about to say, look what happened to him. I was about to say anything. Look yeah. what happened to him. Yep. He tried, he, you know, he tried to uh, uh, say the elders apostles, you know, was uh, raping little kids because the scriptures say you could deal with a woman or a, a girl, a young maid at, when she had a period. You know what I'm saying? Which is true. Because why else would the Lord give a uh, female her period at that age? Right. If she not able to bear? Which, if anything, that's the Lord's fault. Yeah. And which, just to clarify for the audience, which, not literally all, while she's on her period, but after she begins to have her uh, menstruation uh. cycle, then that's that's literally nature and her body letting you know that it's time for her body. She can reproduce now. She can uh, conceive seed. That's literally what it means. Not saying you can deal with her while she is menstruating. That's against the law. I just wanted to... Make, Make sure that's clear. Yeah, so don't think we trying to yeah. take that and say the elders. Yeah, yeah. bust down a woman on her period. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, that's not. They it. say she unclean, man. Exactly. When she on her period, yeah. you gotta wait because Jake will <laughs> be doing that. Jake shit, does it, bro. That shit. Now, Jake, then you said Jake uh, at the job. Jake that quit. The two brothers. Yeah. He asked you, uh, did you ever uh, lick a girl? Yeah, Tampa, yeah, yeah, he, yeah he, I don't even want to really say because it it's so damn wicked and sick, man. But then you say, you know, you ain't a freak. If you if you ain't never you know let your girl tampon uh, when she when she take it out I say you, Jay, you gotta be put down yeah, Jay Jay. Down, man. but yeah Jake out there doing that man it's against the laws it's against scriptures and it's it's sin man and we know that sin when it brings forth when it conceived yeah. it brings forth death man you know but you got it bro um was that it that you wanted from me kind Oh yeah, but the scripture did say it's better for uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be heavy judgment going out in, in this new Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, Egypt, man. Yeah, you know. And that's tough too. The Lord said it's gonna be more, more tolerant, tolerant. <laughs> in that day. And what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? They were burnt by fire, fire. and it was a heavenly fire. The Lord dropped that fire from the heavens. heavens yeah. So you know, it's telling how hot that fire was. But the Lord said, compared to Sodom and Gomorrah's judgment, what's about to happen to Babylon the Great, aka America? It's going to be far much worse to the point where if Sodom and Gomorrah had been known or made aware, made aware to that judgment, they would have repented. Exactly. But no, nah, the Lord said, no, nah, this fire got to come because the Lord know y'all not going y'all not going to repent, man. Going to make Sodom and Gomorrah look like child's play. Like child's play. <laughs> and that's tough. They uh, for a long uh, for a long time, they couldn't find the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. Exactly. They couldn't find it because of how much burnt, the Lord destroyed yeah. it. But here recently there's even um videos to where I want to say archaeology. You right? Archaeology. Archaeology. Archaeologists. Yeah, archaeologists. They they were uh te doing tests on the sulfur in the ground, and they said that this type of sulfur exists nowhere else in the earth. Yep, Literally, so that's exactly. So yep. that's how they you know put two and two together. They're like, this must be the place where the, the Bible talked about fire coming they down. They found the pillow of salt with a uh, lot wife. Uh -huh. uh, was, uh, well, it's actually, I did research on it. They're not saying that that's literally her, but they're saying that pillar of salt and the magnitude that it is, it has to be from the same thing that the scripture said. Yeah. From, for, so, hey, that's tough. And her body could be in there. You yeah, know, tell me. The Lord, the Lord is cold like that. That's tough. Her body's dead. That is the case. Her body's We can get uh, Proverbs uh, 1 and 20. Okay. Because this wasn't going to be dwelling that, you know. 
by the prophets. Uh, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 20. It says, Wisdom crieth without. She heard her voice in the streets. Not in no damn. Mm -hmm. well, wisdom is in the house, but it said the streets as well, man. Mm -hmm. You know, brothers, you know, bringing out different wisdom, you know, different gifts that the Lord gave them, man. When we go out to the high winds by way, we're giving that wisdom. Well, we're trying to get a wisdom, you know, to our people, more so the elect, man. You mm -hmm. know, you, you can't just get, uh, uh, give the wisdom in your house, man. You got to go out to the streets. Like the Bible said, wisdom gonna be crying in the streets, man. Or yeah. utter her voice in the streets, man. You know, so feel. You know, wisdom being so feel. Another name, you know, for wisdom is so feel, man. Mm -hmm. All right, you wanna say something? You can go ahead. Uh, I just had a quick precept on it because, like the brother said beautifully, uh, the wisdom crying out in the street is the prophets, and we know that the Lord tells us in the scriptures. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it real quick. The Lord tells us in the scriptures that He sent His prophets out. He didn't just raise up his prophets just to know the truth and to keep it to themselves and and, and like you're going to see you can't just sit at home and think that the the truth is being pushed no we actually we're going to actually do what the lord put the spirit in his prophets to do which is to go out let me see let's get straight to the point jeremiah 25 and 4 it says in the lord yahweh bashem yahweh has sent unto you all his servants the prophets rising early and sending them but ye have not hearkened nor inclined your ear to hear. So we know that the prophets is out here and literally they're out here. You know, they're not. You don't got to go to their church and you got to go uh, every week. and You got to pay a certain fee in order for you to stay a member of their con uh, congregation. And, you know, going into the tights of the Christianity church. Like they try to tell you they the prophets. They got the truth. You got to come to us. No, the Lord sent us out to the highways and to the hedges to where the people are going to go about their daily routine, their, their natural way, and they're going to run into the prophets. But we already know, according to the scriptures, they're not going to hear us, which ties back to the other point of us looking foolish, you know, through the mm. foolishness of preaching, right, as the scriptures say. We're going to look like fools, but no, we have the true wisdom. Wisdom is, is crying out in these last days to the inhabitants of the earth, especially those who live in America. And, and we already understand that the truth is only going to rest on the hearts of the elect. That's why you even got Jakes who who know they Israelites, who claiming that he, he got the names. Because that's the one thing he said too. Jakes, I asked Jake, I said, so so what's his name? You you you, you know God, what's his name? Well, first off, let me rewind. First off, what I asked him was, okay, who do you follow? Who do you watch? He said, basically, roughly paraphrasing, he said, I don't watch no camps no more. He said, I learned straight from, I got my own yeah, relationship. Man. And, and, you know, that was already following. I said, hold on now, brother. Ain't nobody got no, no personal relationship like that to where the Lord just dealing with you uh, direct. No. The Lord Yahweh Shah made it evidently clear. No man can come unto the Father but by me. And the Lord Yahweh Shah has put his spirit within his disciples, which became apostles, which are being risen back up in these last days. The true prophets. And what do the word apostle mean? Sent, sent away. Forward. Yeah, sent away. You know, sent out. <laughs> you know? <laughs> to and the highways and byways. <laughs> exactly. Dummy. Exactly. They didn't just stay there in Jerusalem. They didn't just stay there in Rome and all the other various places they were at. No. They, like we read um, in Matthew 10, uh, they were being told and prepared to go to various cities. You know, to, to find the lost sheep. You know, the lost sheep wasn't coming to them. They weren't uh, getting text messages like, hey, or, or a GPS location. We got to go this way to find right. the prophet. We got to turn right right here. The prophet's going to be over here. No, man. The prophet is, is going out. And, you know, and wherever they set up camp, you know, that's where the word is going to spring forth. And it's going to be in the chief place of concourse, right. you know, in the highways and the hedges. Exactly. Yeah. Something else? Oh, uh, yeah. We can go to Isaiah uh, 13. We'll start at verse 1. Uh -huh. It says, uh, Isaiah 13 and 1, it says, The burden of Babylon, which Babylon is American, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Verse 2, Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. You see that? The scriptures say, Lift ye up a banner. Well, the banner represents what? The scriptures. Mm -hmm. It says, Upon the high mountain, which is, you know, the high mountain represents the government of America, basically. It says, exalt the voice unto them. How we exalt the voice? Out there in the highways and byways. It's, and then it says, shake the hand that it may go to the gates of the nobles. Who the gates of the nobles? You know, these higher up elites, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the uh, the government or whatnot. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what we're doing. We go out to the highways and byways, man. That's why Babylon is being a burden. That's why we're being a burden to Babylon. Because of us going out there and preaching the word. And how about she? I was shut. You, you about mm -hmm. to say something? Yeah, no, just uh, same thing you just said. Well, that's being a burden. That's why they're going to go to the gates of nobles. Man, shut these niggas up, right. man. They're going to be complaining about this word that they're hearing. What? 
America about to be destroyed. What? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not the chosen. I'm not gonna be saved exactly. when, when the savior it, comes back. Yeah, they're gonna be complaining to to the gates of the nobles, and that's how we ultimately understand uh, who they're gonna be. They're gonna know exactly who they're searching for in the time of Jacob's trouble because they seen the men. They know exactly who got the truth, and they know exactly who's been a burden to this land. It's not those who 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 uh, haven't been making themselves a living sacrifice. It's not those who don't have the full truth. No, it's those who are out there. Who, who are being seen, you know, starting with the elder and the apostles of Great Millstone on down, who who are literally been pushing this truth and sincerity, those are gonna be the ones who are targeted, you know. And that's why and that's why Esau hated that's why Esau trying to get the prophets out the streets, man. You know, yeah. that's why he's trying to ban the Bible. Yeah. You know, he's trying to uh get AI ban, to yeah, rewrite it. Rewrite it. <laughs> you know, and even he's trying to shut down the internet as well because he hates this uh word is going forth, man. Mm -hmm. That's why we've been a burden into this place and you know that's why you read uh Revelations the uh the twelve chapter the last verse in, in the chapter it tell you that the dragon was wrath with the women. Why? Because we going out, going out there yeah. prophesying the down, the downfall of his kingdom, man. Yeah. Whether they hear, whether they forbear, man. We still gonna prophesy the downfall of this kingdom, man, no matter what, and tell you how we shot, you know, come back and, and and deliver the elect, man, with the great multitude, man. Okay. All right. Besides that, hey man, we're gonna continue to go out there, man. No until Yahweh shot get us off, man. Yeah. And that's when the famine of the word gonna hit. When we get out there, when we, uh, when the Lord, you know, uh, uh, bring us out, you know, from the highways and byways, and you know, ultimately, you know, delete YouTube or whatnot, because yeah. these even mics getting ready to do it, man. Yeah. And all you niggas out there that don't want to hear this word or get to, uh, receive this word, hey man, don't come to us when shit hit the fan. I'm gonna tell you that now, nah, right? Man. Which they gonna do it? Yeah, they gonna be they trying gonna to find it. search to and fro, trying to find a wizard. But exactly, that's what it's gonna say. Yeah. They gonna be running to and fro. What they gonna be running to and fro, nigga? To the highways and byways right. where they were seeing us, man. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what they're gonna be running to, man. Mm -hmm. And we ain't gonna be there no more. Nope. Gone. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh, you got something to say on that? Uh, no, 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 no. You got it. Uh, we can go to Matthew 10 and 5. We'll read down to verse 7. All right. All right. This, this, this is the main reason you know we go out to the highways by ways, right? Uh, Matthew 10 and 5 says, These 12 Yahweh shot sent forth and commanded them. He commanded them, man, meaning it was mm -hmm. a commandment, yep. saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into the city of the Samaritan, into ye not. So the Lord said, Don't go to these Gentiles, meaning, you know, these Gentiles, the word is not for them, man. The only Gentiles that is for is for the Israelite foreigners, yep. right? But the point of the matter is, the Lord said, Go not, right? Because he sent his disciples to, uh, to go out to do the will, man, mm -hmm. right? And the reason he, you know, he commanded them to do the will, why? Verse six, but go, well, it's point is in verse seven. It says, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that's what you were saying earlier. Uh, uh, when you had said, um, you know, they weren't looking for the, the uh, uh, you was like, the disciple, no, the uh, people, the lost sheep went right. with the GPS. Yeah, trying to find the, the disciple, like you said, the brother said, the disciple was setting up camp. You know, so they could wake up the lost shit out of the house of Israel, man. Yeah. You got to think, man, what if there was no cell phone? Will we still be making a market of ourselves? Because how else <laughs> are we going to wake up the nation, nigga? Yeah, dang, man. And uh, verse 7, the point, this is why, we you know, we go to the highways and byways. It says, and as ye go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's what we're telling our people, that the kingdom of heaven is for y'all and it is at hand. But we understand that our people ain't going to listen, man. All right, we're giving you that warning. We're telling you, you know, that Babylon the Great is about to be destroyed. We're telling you that the Lord, you know, the MOTB about to come to pass. We're telling you that uh, uh, pestilence, famines, you know, different variety of things that the Lord said yep. is about to happen, man. Yep. You know, that's the Lord giving you that warning through his man. All right, the Lord said you're going to reveal his secrets, you know, to his servants and prophets. And guess what? When we get those uh, reveal revealings, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go forth, you know, on the highways and byways and tell you what the Lord, you know, uh, 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 gave us, man. You know, the different mysteries that he gave us, man. You want to say something? Uh, you just remind me of preset while you're talking. Um, the Lord Yahweh was saying, let me see. Uh, I'm just gonna get it real quick. Um, John 15. Well, John and 15 22. Be my favorite chapter in that book for real. John 15. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, John 15 and 22. Just to get straight to the point. The Lord Yahweh said, "If I had not come." And spoken unto them, 
they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. So ultimately, really just Lord Yahweh Shah saying because he made the truth known of, of their transgression, now they're going to have to pay when they don't repent. But the point I wanted to, to really bring out is the fact that the Lord Yahweh Shah said, if I had not come, which means not only did he hear the commandment, but he was sent forth. You understand? He said, I am. I, I, I am sent, or the Son of Man is sent to do the will of the Father. Now we are sent to do the will of the Son. Exactly. Just like the Lord Yahweh was sent from the heavens, had to be born as a child and endure the cross. Guess what? Now we've been sent through the understanding of this gospel, and we're tapping into this, that same spirit. And as the brother just read, we were commanded to, to go in, into the city, to the gates, man. And literally, once we do that, once we make ourselves those living sacrifices as the Lord Yahweh Shai did, now y'all have no clue for your sin. Why? Because we're going to be declaring that 100% truth. The same truth the Lord Yahweh Shai said that uh, if he had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now, because the prophets out there on them highways and hedges declaring the truth, now guess what? All these sins are being revealed and they're being noted, man. All those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, they're going to be covered, you know, from, from and even pardoned from their sins. But everyone else, uh, this word going forth is condemning every single last one of y'all. And that's truly why y'all hate it. That's truly why y'all teach that we don't have to go to the highways and hedges. That's truly why y'all teach we don't have to, you know, even say the things that we do because... It cuts you in the heart, man. And that's truly why Jay, you know, like you said, when we were talking to him and he was finding himself withdrawing and getting in the car and closing the door and turning yeah, the car you? on and still talking. Like, I had to tell Jay, like, Jay, you know, we ain't, we ain't holding you. Like, you got to go, you know, you can go. But he was still trying to, uh, like, teach us, basically. Like, he, and this is how you know Jay is just fucking folly. <laughs> Jay didn't have a point. But well, because we were cutting them so much through the spirit by the simple things we were saying, because we it wasn't a long discussion at all. By the simple things we were saying, Jake was withdrawing himself, but his spirit was so confounded, he still had to say something like he was deep, like like he knew something we didn't know. And we were just like, all right, Jake, you know, it's all wrong, go about your day. But once again, the point being, Jake didn't want to hear the truth when we were bringing out the fact that, no, you got to go out on the highways and hedges, and the name is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and... You know, um, you had to leave them books alone because that was really the part that offended him. We told Jake to leave the books alone. You said, Jake, that ain't the truth. You got some of the right books in there. Second Esdras, the the Prayer of the Three Holy Children, you know, Baruch. And, you know, the the apocryphal books were in there. But he had those other books sprinkled amongst them. When we told Jake to leave it alone, Jake had to come up with a reason why he didn't agree. Well, you know, that's what they say to us. They don't want us to read these things. Jake. The open Bible is the oldest Bible. Yeah, see, and, and, and that's what I, I wanted to grab the scripture too. I'm glad the Lord let me remember that. Uh, Ecclesiastes, I'm gonna have to get that one. No, 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 we get that. Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. All right, uh, let me see if there's anything else. No, this is it. Ecclesiastes 12 and 12, it says, And further, by these my son be admonished of making of making many books. There is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. All right, I'm going to read that in the NIV too. It says, Be warned, my son, of anything in addition to them, of making many books. There is no end, and much study wearies the body. Right, so we understand that over time, even you know from when things first began to be written, a lot of people were writing various different things, various different doctrines based upon their own understandings and based upon their own emotions and will. And the scriptures already tell us not to even lean on our own understanding, you know. Mm. But as the scripture is saying, a, a lot of that was going to be going on over time. And you're going to have, like you have in these days, people trying to add books to the books that we that aren't a part of our books, you know, trying to take away books that are a part of our books. The Lord said these things would be going on. And much study, trying to read all these books to try to figure out, okay, who got exactly. the truth? I'm going to read these books first, then read all these, and then read all these. And knowing good and damn well, you don't even... People who, who even, like, like the Christianity Church, they'll try to sit down and read the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Genesis. You ain't even going to, you know, remember what you read in Genesis, even though you try to read it in sincerity. And that kind of hits on to the point. You can read all these books how you want to, but ultimately, if the Spirit is not dealing with you, you reading all that for no reason. It's yes, gonna weary your flesh. You gonna be. You gonna have all these various doctrines and beliefs in your mind, and you are gonna be like Jake, confounded. You know. And what the scary thing is, is when I asked him the names, he even said it. He said, "Yeah, Yahweh." And I said, "What'd you say?" He said, "Yahweh." 
I said, okay. I, I didn't acknowledge the fact that he switched the names up both times. But those are the correct names. Yeah, how will Bob Shem Yahweh Shah? Jake even said that. But yet, like like the brothers bringing out through the spirit, man. Jake ain't got the spirit, man. <laughs> Jake was all over the place. And even trying to condemn us for hitting the highways and heads. Exactly. Man. And then what's funny is when I first first talked to him, he asked me where y'all teach He was like, yeah, I'm going to come. Why you going to come for him? He would say, we're making a mockery of ourselves. Yeah. So, nigga, you really double-minded, man. Kind of. You know? But we can get this uh, last scripture in uh, Matthew 3. Because even John the Baptist went out to teach before Yahweh Shah came. He, he, you know, he, he, he uh, prophesied Yahweh Shah's second, I mean, first coming. Mm -hmm. You know? It says, uh, Matthew 3 and 1, In those days came John the Baptist preaching the preaching in the wilderness of Judea. You see that? John the Baptist was pre preaching in the wilderness, man. And even uh, Moses himself, he taught the law where in the wilderness, man. He went out there in, in no damn house just saying, uh, the first commandment is have no other God before me. No, John the I mean, not John the Moses was out there in the wilderness, man. Just like how John the Baptist was. And then what else John the Baptist did say? And saying, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You see, John the Baptist doing the same, well, we doing the same thing John the Baptist was doing, man. And that fucking alarm, that went off again, Way man. Yeah, you know, but the point of the matter is, it said, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. That's the whole, that's the that's our whole duty, man. Is the, for us to give that warning and tell them to repent. For it's too damn late, man. Cause like I said, man, ain't no just you know like I said earlier, man. Brothers, certain brothers, you know, most brothers have five, three views. How the hell are you gonna reach the uh the, the, try to reach the elect with those views right there, man? You gonna you gonna get uh, uh you gonna least you know wake up the elect more so on the highways and byways because yeah. you will never know so many people that's walking past, man. And, and most of the time, it's those videos when you own the highways and byways that goes viral. Exactly. People, you bring out a certain topic or you respond a certain way to certain questions that people ask in live time, and then people hear, oh, what? Uh, uh, wait, like you know the clickbait titles that oh, get yeah, the clickbait, attention, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's because th that type of energy, yeah, is literally there. When you watch the video, you're gonna see it is not just clickbait. Some of what they said is actually happening. True, I'm yeah. watching it. Like he's told us, dude, he's going into slavery, and look at how he responded. He's saying that the Bible is false now. When I believe the Bible is true, this is yeah. making sense to me. You exactly. Know? And what's funny is, uh, with our camp page, we get more views on our highway uh, on our own on our street mm -hmm. ministry than we do in regular videos, yeah. man. Showing you that the highways and byways play a big role to uh, us waking up the uh, elite, man. Yeah. You know? And more so, too, because it's entertaining. Yeah, people, people like to see the confrontation. <laughs> exactly. You know, they're not really listening and learning for, for the actual edification, which, like the brother said, that's why the highways and hedges really gets a lot more views. People see people get angry, cussing people out, you know, and they're like, well, I, I want to watch. And in the meantime, they getting cut in the spirit. You know, the, they, they can't deny that they heard the truth coming out, you know? And that's how I pretty much woke up. I was entertained by that shit. <laughs> yeah. But that what woke me up. Highways and Byways videos, mm -hmm. man. You know, I didn't watch a video where a brother was actually sit, doing sit down lesson, man. God, it was man. the Highways and Byways that really yeah. woke me up, even though it was on, even though I watched it on YouTube. On the same channel. But I'm pretty sure if I would have saw it in person, it would have woke me up again as well. God, well, that's it just woke how me the spirit. Up. Exactly. The, the Lord you know? got certain elect souls that when the truth hits them, as the seed is going to be planted in their hearts. You know, they're actually going to receive it and believe and even have fruits and works behind it. They're going to do exactly what their teachers were doing because that spirit, that same spirit is going to hit them. Exactly. You know? And another thing is, what's waking up a lot of our people? The 12 child chart. And you don't really mm -hmm. see that on people's video. You see it out there on the highways and byways, man. Yep. So that's another reason, you know, we go out there with that chart right there to wake up the nation, Ezekiel man. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37, yeah. man. That, those, those, two sticks. Yeah, the sticks being joined together. People going to look at it and ask, what is that? What does that mean? That's the Israelites really inquiring of their own heritage that they lost. Right. They'll that be happens. like, oh, oh, I'm from the child. What? Yeah, Negro yeah. Or Judah. Oh, I'm Judah? Yeah. What that mean? Yeah, what oh, that you, mean? You know, the West Indians or uh, Haitians. Uh -huh. You know, they'd be like, okay, Levi. What that mean? Like the brother said, what that mean? You don't see that. Well, the brother just not started doing it, you know. Uh, Having have side to, by yeah. side. Yeah. Most brothers' videos don't show that. So how would you know? What tribe be from? You don't see that chart. Yeah, how would you even know of the tribe yeah. chart? You know, if you, if you don't see it on the highways and byways. Yeah, because every every brother sit down video not gonna go into it. You know, they were gonna they might allude to it and say you so called black, black Spanish, Spanish, Native, Native Americans, Americans yeah. and the Israelites, but they're not gonna actually display it. You know, and, and some people don't wouldn't even really say they're Latino if you say. Uh, uh, I'm from Chopin the Thali. The people want to say I'm, you know, yeah, like, yeah, Latino. That's, yeah, that's me. That's me. I'm, exactly. I'm not Thali. Nah, they're not gonna connect the dots. I do got one more scripture I wanted to okay. grab. Uh, Second Timothy, chapter three. 
And then I'm going to read verses 1 and 2, but the point is actually in verse 7. Uh, so it says Second Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. And that's one thing, too, that that's really getting to most Israelites, as the scripture just said. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are claiming to be, quote unquote, Hebrew Israelites and that they woke, you know, and they aware of the oppression. Yet still, they're not repenting, you know, because really they like to look. They like to, to seem deep, you know, and outside they like to say things that get people to just, oh, man, he said that? That was right. deep. I ain't <laughs> never heard it like that. And they want to take out the glory for themselves and even start their own camp. And then lead all, uh, what well, the scriptures say, the blind leading the blind, they both shall fall into the ditch. ditch. That's not the spirit you're supposed to be in, man. You're not supposed to even, you know, want to set yourself up on a pedestal. The Lord said, "Who everyone that does that shall be abased, and those that humble themselves shall be exalted. Mm -hmm. and, and it's true. What are we doing? Tapping into that spirit of Moses, even the spirit of David, for those of y'all who can't receive it. And we're, those that are meek shall inherit the earth, as the scriptures say, right? But it says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous boasters proud blasphemers disobedient to parents and that's a beautiful one but one because jake said he know the names yahweh and yahweh shot okay well who you learn that name from jake it goes back to to the one west camps and if you look at how the one west camps teach they go to the highways and the byways they don't say they're not saying that now some of the rubber baits do they like they don't they, yeah, they, they don't go out they no longer go out general yahana yeah you know some of the rubber bait uh, you know, leaders no longer hit the highways and byways. But look at the elders and apostles of the, uh, GMS, for example, a beautiful example. Not only did they start by going out, they still been going out consistently, faithfully. Ain't no breaks. You know, like like the brother quoted earlier, um, in a season and out of season. You know, that's that's the spirit that the elect are gonna be in in these last days. And when it says disobedient to parents, how are you gonna say that you got the truth, but then? You take that truth that you claim to have, you trace it back to the elders that you got it from. You're not doing what they're doing. You're not being obedient to their commands, to how they said their house is going to be ran. No, you out here trying to make your own way. No, I don't got to listen to them. I'm going to go read these books anyway. They right. said not to. I'm going to do it anyway. They said go to the highways and byways. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to mention I'm an Israelite at my job, and that's going to be enough. That's not a sacrifice, man. And that's not even the sacrifice that your elders display day in and day out. You know, but it says unthankful and that's truly what that is it says unholy and i'm gonna jump down to the point it says i started verse five actually yeah i read five and then jump down to seven it says having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away mm. and that's that's truly why we didn't you know after that day we didn't come back to work looking for jay i gotta Come on, I got to tell Jake right. this one thing. If I can just tell him this one thing, he going to understand. He going to hit the highways and buy. No, we're not even losing sleep over Jake. If the Lord is dealing with him, the Lord, the spirit is quick, man. Jake going to understand and he going to get it. But because he's carrying the names around, he's he's carrying the names in vain. He's not truly, as the scriptures say, that he's denying the power thereof. He's not being obedient to the spirit which those names carry, which is work. <laughs> Faith without words is dead, man. So... There you go. All right. And verse seven is the point. It says, Second Timothy three and seven, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Mm. The, the scripture said this was going to be going on in the last days. Perilous times. You know, people are going to be ever learning, always learning something else. Oh, but brother, did you read these, these books? books? <laughs> these hidden books, brother, the book of Enoch, the Ethiopian books. When well, like we brought out. The Lord said, "Ye Ethiopians also shall be slain slime. by my sword." So what they got to teach you? Exactly Jake. how to get slain. And then, and then what pissed me off, man? The book, the prayer, the prayer, uh, Ethiopian. What the fuck? Yeah, Why yeah. would you even pray <laughs> that prayer when the Lord said He gave you the prayer in uh, Matthew? I believe see that in the fifth or sixth chapter of the prayer. Mm -hmm. You know the Lord, man. The Lord's prayer, man. Yep. You know, hallowed be Thy name. Thy yep. kingdom come. That will be done on earth. On as earth. It is That's happened. the prayer you should be praying, man. Not no fucking Ethiopian prayer. We're not even Ethiopian. We're not ham. No. When you read the compact Bible dictionary, it tell you that definition of ham. It said not the Negroes, man. We don't descend from ham, man. No. We descend back from Shem, man. Yep. Yeah, that's Jake for you, boy. Yeah, how you wake up to the truth, knowing you're Israelite, but call yourself ham? Ham. Like, that's double minded. Like double minded, you said, man. Unstable in all your ways. You know. So that right, that should tell you that that book is off, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck yep. you gonna read the Ethiopian Bible? You an Israelite? You just saying back to Shem? <laughs> and, and as I said, ever learning and never 
able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Jake came so close to even utter the names, but the Lord Yahweh Shah said, you know, not all that call on me and say, Lord, Lord. Matter of fact, let me grab it real quick. And then it wasn't on that. Because I was really dumb, but now I said yeah, that. Yeah, that's all I have. Uh, so, let me just see what come up. It's in, God, it's in, be uh, more careful. It's in uh, Matthew 7. Okay, throw up. It said 2,000 scriptures. Yeah, <laughs> Matthew 7. Like in 20, I believe. Oh, here yeah. we go, yeah. That's really why. Right. Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord. So just because you say Yahweh, Yahweh no, Shah, that don't mean. <laughs> Look, I said, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of Come my on, Father, man. which is in heaven. You know? Right? That's really the man, point. What's That's... the will? Going out to the highways and byways, man. Exactly. Being sent forth and actually going forth and doing. You know, once again, time back to that living sacrifice. That's really why we do it. We we don't go out to the highways and hedges because, you know. You want to be seen we, a man. Well, that too. But I was about to say, uh, knowing that we're waking up the elect. No, truly, we're doing it because we're being obedient. Like, we already understand. It's not us that's waking up the elect. It's a, it's the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah yeah. Shai. Ultimately, he just uses us as vessels. And like the scripture said, through the fullness of preaching, we out there, you know, s s sacrificing our life in peace here. And and, and live, making or displaying how much of a living hell it actually is, and the, because of our faith in doing that, the Lord is gonna reward us, man. Mm -hmm. But you can't receive that reward if you're not doing it, if yep. you're not making that sacrifice, you know, of of comfortability, because it is comfortable to sit at home to relax, air have you, yeah, air conditioning, got your drink next to you, you know, can recline the chair right. back, <laughs> you know, feet up. yeah, get the feet up. And maybe not even have a garment on. You probably be in your drawers, <laughs> and, and you just going through the scriptures. That's comfortable. The Lord didn't bring us over here to be comfortable. Once again, we we're sent over here to be sacrifices, man. America is one big ass altar, and the sacrifice that we're uh, out here working is the salvation of our souls, man. Every other sacrifice out here is gonna be melted right. by fire, man. Yo, take you know? that Isaiah sixty-three. Yeah, yeah. But that's it. That's the point. Okay, uh, that's it. Lord willing, this video will be edifying. And we'll close out with giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, 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 by Hashem, Yahweh